Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Barca Admirers and in this episode we have in store for you the results from Barcelona's latest fixture against Sevilla that ended in a 1-1 draw. Now before we begin, I would really appreciate it if you guys could just like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and also press on the bell icon so that you can turn on all the post notifications. Barcelona failed to break into La Liga's top 4 after being held to a 1-1 draw by a high-flying Sevilla on Tuesday night despite playing against 10 men for more than half an hour at the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan. It was the home side Sevilla that made the breakthrough after the half an hour mark through a well-worked corner routine. Ivan Rakitic played a low cross into the Barcelona penalty area and it was swapped home first time by the onrushing Papu Gomez whose inch-perfect finish nestled in the corner. However, Barca leveled just before the break through their own corner. Ronald Araujo rose majestically to meet Dembele's cross and placed his header into the bottom corner perfectly. Later on, the match suddenly became ill-tempered when Jules Koundé was shown a straight red card. The Frenchman needlessly lashed out after a bit of pushing by throwing the ball directly into Jordi Alba's face from a yard away 20 minutes into the second period. However, despite her man advantage, Barca were unable to muster an opportunity until the final 10 minutes. First, Pablo Gavi missed a glorious opportunity, coasting in between the Sevilla centre-backs but misdirecting a free header. Then, with 6 minutes to go, Dembele bent a wonderful left-footed effort onto the post from the edge of the penalty area. That was as close as we came as the match ended as a 1-1 draw, a result that leaves Sevilla second in La Liga and the Blaugrania at the 7th. Speaking in the post-game press conference, manager Xavier Hernandez said that everyone sees that this team is certainly getting better. The game was not easy, but then again he thinks that they deserve to win. And I, for my part, must certainly agree to it. Xavi further said that they played the way they wanted to play, with character and pressure. It's a tough stadium, but they competed well. There are things to improve, but he's proud of the team because they are on the right track. He even went so far ahead as to say that Barca were better than Sevilla and they are Barca so they have to play to win. It was a hard time sleeping at night because even though the team played well, they did not win and he is a bit disappointed with the result. Regarding the lack of finishing touch, Xavi said that when they get the opportunity in front of the opponent, they must not think. Of course, they have to kick the ball. One point is not enough. The result is not good. Of course, if Dembele had scored his goal, everything would have looked a lot different. Xavi further said that he wants his players to be patient during the game and also to try to play the ball between the players for longer periods of time to tire out the opponent. He believes that they are on the right track and they need to keep going. Of course, the man who scored the all-important equaliser for Barcelona, Ronald Araujo, also appeared during the interview. He said that it's a shame because they wanted to win. They have played well and they need a little more to kill off these games. He also said that it has not been a very good first part of the season, but they are working well and there is much left to do. The Uruguayan centre-back seemed to be very much aware of the situation. He said that right now, Barca are working on the improvements. They have a lot of young players. He is happy that he scored and helped the team. Unfortunately, today, they did not win, but they are working on these things and of course they can improve their mistakes from the second half. He said that even in the first half, they were not perfect, but they were pretty good. A lot of hard work awaits them. They were close to winning and Sevilla's goal came as a result of not understanding and assessing the situation. If Dembele's goal had gone in, it could have gotten us three points. Very optimistically, he said that the season is a long one and a decisive second round awaits the team. They're optimistic with the squad, it's a good team and they're working hard to continue to develop. Yet another one of our players, Frankie Dijon, who also appeared in the press conference, said that he thinks that Barca should have won, but then again, he always thinks so. They played 25 minutes and 10 players and of course Barca should have taken advantage of that and won this game. And being asked to comment about the first half, Frankie said that he thinks they were better than Sevilla and that's how it should be because they have to. They are Barca and they have to play better than the rival. He further said that the fans need to be absolutely optimistic. They have a great team and a great staff, but of course it's not enough right now. They have to give more and they have to be better than that. If Dembele had scored, they would have been talking about a great game. 
even goalkeeper Mark andre Ter Stegen said that football can never be chosen. Yes, they can of course choose their approach and that's why he said with the feeling of today's match that they played a great game. Now having a look at the statistics, we have a very impressive one as compiled by Opta which states that Pablo Gavi completed 4 dribbles against Sevilla which was as much as all the Sevilla players combined. According to yet another piece of statistic, Dembele gave 4 key passes against Sevilla which was once again as much as all the Sevilla players combined. Speaking about Ushman Dembele, we have yet another interesting report about him. According to top tier journalist Sebastian Diniz, Despite the insistence of his camp wanting him to leave Barcelona, Dembélé has made up his decision to stay at Barca. It now remains to agree on the terms of the contract extension.